welcome to this blog and thanks for watching. It's always a pleasure presenting to you some interesting facts about the beautiful countries on the African continent. Today we're shining the light on Liberia and we're presenting some lesser known facts about this West African country. Officially the Republic of Liberia, Liberia is a country on West African coast. It is bordered by Sierra Leone to the northwest, Guinea to the north, Ivory Coast to its east and the Atlantic Ocean to its south-southwest. It covers an area of 111,369 square kilometers and has a population of around 4.9 million people. Liberia comes from the Greek word meaning land of the free. English is the official language but over 20 indigenous languages are spoken representing the numerous ethnic groups who make up more than 95% of the population. The country's capital and largest city is Monrovia. Liberia has a very rich bittersweet history. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Liberia began as a settlement of the American Colonization Society who believed black people would face a better chance for freedom and prosperity in Africa than in the United States. The country declared its independence on July 26, 1847. The U.S. did not recognize Liberians' independence until February 5, 1862, during the American Civil War. So let's take a closer look at this amazing country with the 10 things you probably didn't know about Liberia. Number 1. Liberia was founded by American trade abolitionists. Liberia was originally an American colony set up by a coalition of slavers and abolitionists. Way back in the progressive days of the antebellum United States, some forward-thinking and moderate slave owners realized that the days of slavery were numbered. Despite this realization, it was a step too far to consider that blacks and white will be equals one day. The slave owners may have been forward-thinking for their time, but they still own other people. The American Colonization Society ACS, was founded by a coalition of abolitionists and slavers who believed that free blacks could never coexist with whites in America. So the ACS thought the best solution was to send emancipated slaves to Liberia to live freely. After the ACS bought lands in Liberia, the first settlers arrived there in 1822, but they died of ridiculously nasty diseases in the swamps. So technically, the second group of former slaves actually settled the land. Number 2. The first female president came from Liberia. Proud to 2006, there had never been a female president in Africa. Ellen Johnson suddenly became the first female president in Africa in 2006. Proud to become in the 21st president of Liberia, Salif worked at Citibank. Salif returned to Liberia in 1985 to run as vice president under Jackson Doe on the ticket of the Liberian Action Party in the 1985 election. However, Salif was placed on the House of Race in August 1985 and soon after sentenced to 10 years imprisonment for sedition as a consequence of a speech in which she insulted the members of the Samwedo regime. Following international calls for her release, Samwedo pardoned and released her in September. Due to government pressure, she was removed from the presidential ticket and instead ran for a senate seat in Montserrat County. In 2005, she ran for presidential elections and on 23rd November 2005, Salif was declared the winner of the Liberian election and confirmed as the country's next president and the first woman to be elected as president in an African country. Her inauguration took place on 16 January 2006. It was attended by many foreign dignitaries, including United States Secretary of State, Condoleezza Rice and First Lady Laura Bush. Number 3. Liberia was the first African country to gain its independence. Liberia began as a settlement of the American Colonization Society, who believed black people would face a better chance for freedom and prosperity in Africa than in the United States. The country declared its independence on July 26, 1847. The U.S. did not recognize Liberians' independence until February 5, 1862, during the American Civil War. Between January 7, 1822 and the American Civil War, more than 15,000 freed and freeborn black people who faced legislative limits in the United States and 3,198 Afro-Caribbeans relocated to the settlement. The settlers carried their culture and tradition with them. The Liberian constitution and flag was modeled after those of the U.S. On January 3, 1848, Joseph Jenkins Roberts, a wealthy freeborn African-American from Virginia who settled in Liberia, was elected Liberia's first president after the people proclaimed independence. Liberia was the first African republic to proclaim its independence, and it's Africa's first and oldest modern republic. It retained its independence during the scramble for Africa. During World War II, Liberia supported the United States war effort against Germany and in turn, the US invested in considerable infrastructures in Liberia to help its war effort, which also aided the country in modernizing and improving its major air transportation facilities. 
Number 4. Liberia is the highest producer of rubber in Africa. Africa accounts for around 5% of the global natural rubber production. The main producing country being Nigeria, Liberia and Cote d'Ivoire. Since the establishment of the Firestone Plantation in 1926, rubber has been the cornerstone of the Liberian economy. Even in post-conflict Liberia, the commodity remains the country's most important cash crop. Rubber trees are cultivated on large company-owned plantations, where workers collect rubber year-round for a fixed salary, and also on small-scale farms that belong to households and individuals. Rubber has a long and controversial history in Liberia. Observers largely agree that the sector has served as a much-needed generator of state revenue and the creator of formal salary employment in the country with a largely subsistent agricultural economy. However, there has been a persistent concern and tension around the terms of contracts signed between the Liberian state and rubber company on the other hand and the living and working condition on the Liberian plantations on the other. Liberia is currently the highest producer of rubber in Africa with some of the biggest rubber plantations. Number 5. Liberia has the second largest commercial fleet of ships in the world. Due to its laissez-faire attitude towards pesky things like maritime law, Liberia has more ships registered under the flag of convenience than any other country except Panama. About 12% of the world's ships fly the flag of Liberia. According to the Liberian Registry, Liberia has an international respect for its dedication to flagging the world's safest and most secure vessels. Even so, the registry itself is operated by a U.S. company. Despite so many ship owners taking advantage of Liberians' lax maritime law, very little of the registration fee has benefited people whose flags are done approximately 4,000 vessels. It is believed that Charles Taylor redirected some of the funds into non-governmental projects. With registration fees accounting to 25% of Liberians' tax revenue, it is unlikely that the government will be keen to reform maritime law at the behest of other nations. Although the ships are expected to employ Liberian sailors, this is seldom enforced due to the closure of the Machen Marine Academy in 1992. Number 6. The first African to win the FIFA Ball d'Or is from Liberia. Ballon d'Or is an annual football award presented by France Football. It has been awarded since 1956, although between 2010 and 2015, an agreement was made with FIFA and the award was temporarily matched with FIFA World Player of the Year and known as FIFA Ballon d'Or. However, the partnership ended in 2016 and the award reverted to Ballon d'Or, while FIFA also reverted to its own separate annual award, now named the Best FIFA Men's Player. In 1995, Judge Weya from Liberia became the first African football player to win the award. He won the award during his time with AC Milan. Until date, no other African footballer has won the award. Judge Weya is currently serving as the 25th president of Liberia. Number 7. The capital city of Liberia was named after the U.S. president. Monrovia, the capital city of Liberia, was in honor of U.S. president James Monroe, a prominent supporter of the colonization of Liberia and the American Colonization Society, along with Washington, D.C. It is one of the two national capitals to be named after a U.S. president. In 1816, with the aim of establishing a self-sufficient colony for emancipated American slaves, something that had already been accomplished in Freetown, the first settlers arrived in Africa from the United States under the auspices of the American Colonization Society. They landed at Shebro Island in present-day Sierra Leone. On January 7, 1822, a second ship rescued the settlers and took them to Cape Mesurado, establishing the settlement of Christopolis in 1824. The city was renamed Monrovia after James Monroe, then President of the United States, who was a prominent supporter of the colony in sending free black slaves, an ex-Caribbean slave from the United States of America and Caribbean island to Liberia, and who saw it as preferable to emancipation in America. Number 8. Liberia is home to some of the weirdest animals in the world. The long-tailed pangolin lives in Liberia, although humans are going out of their way to eat it into extinction like everything else. Pangolins are weird, but also cute in a way that makes them beloved by hipsters and Japanese teenagers. However, the animals are endangered, which means that they are incredibly valuable. As a result, the pangolin is the most trafficked animal on earth. Despite looking like a honey badger in a snakeskin suit, Chinese medicine has decided that eating pangolin is good for you. Eating rare animals is also a sign of woe. In Liberia, however, the pangolin is banned from poaching like all other bushmeat delicacies. But the value of this unique animal is high enough that the reward outweighs the risk of many poachers. Pangolin scales alone are reported to fetch $3,000 per kilogram. There are several other weird animals in Liberia, such as Liberian mongoose and the Gola Malimba. Number 9. 
Liberia has the highest number of presidents in Africa of all time. Liberia was the first African country to gain its independence from the United States. And throughout the history of the country, there have been a total of 25 presidents. The first president of Liberia was Joseph Jenkins Rabbits. He took office on January 3, 1848 and left in 1856. In 2006, Africa's first female president, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, was inaugurated as the 22nd president of Liberia. Judge Weah is currently the president of Liberia. Altogether, there have been a total of 25 presidents in Liberia, with the longest president seven for 27 years and the shortest seven for 67 days. Number 10. The first African president to be convicted for war crime came from Liberia. In 2012, Charles Taylor, former president of Liberia, convicted for his role in the Sierra Leone conflict, in which he used child soldiers, rape and amputation as his weapon of choice. But Taylor was at least as brutal as his own people. To preserve the precarious peace between the different ethnic groups, he was never charged for his crime in Liberia. After supporting the 1980 coup that ended 133 years of government by the descendants of free slaves, Teller promptly embezzled $1 million from his country and fled to the U.S. Arrested for this crime, Tello escaped jailed and hooked up with Muhammad Gaddafi in Libya. Tello claimed the CIA helped him to escape. But by Gaddafi, Tello overthrew the Liberian government that he had helped to install. But Tello was denied victory by his own lieutenant who broke away, formed his own army, captured President Doe and tortured Doe to death. This packed another civil war that became an ethnic conflict causing over 600,000 lives. Before the first Liberian civil war ended in 1997, Tello was quite fond of drugging and brainwashing children to be his soldiers. They would put on wedding dresses and blonde wigs which they believed would make them immortal. The effects of Tello's brutality still persist today, as former child soldiers attempt to lead normal lives alongside the victims of the horrific ethnic cleansing. History will be kind to me, Tello said on leaving office. I have accepted this role as a sacrificial lamb. There you have it, explorers. Those were the 10 things you probably didn't know about Liberia. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.